Hello, we're a hospitality management student doing information literacy module which provided by Taylor's University and this video is about database navigation that intended to be a guide for users out there to understand on how to choose a searching platform and how to perform an effective searching techniques linked to the main topic. We are from group 8. Our members are Femby Fristia, Jennifer Yemima, Elrika Sanders, Jose, and Tang Wei. Without further ado, let's jump into the key of this video. There are five steps for an effective search strategies. First step, define your topic. Identify your topic and start developing keywords to gather information. Let us go with the topic, the differences of hotel employee satisfaction impact with the turnover intention in five-star hotel. Second, select your sources. They are printed and online sources. And in this video, we will explain about the online sources. Introducing to you online database. An online database is a database accessible from a local network or the internet. It is hosted on website, made available as software as a service product as a symbol via web browser. We are using Taylor's library platform. Go to Taylor's library website, select your sources. There will be selections for ebook collection, e journal, e repository, and online database. Choose online database. list of online database from platform from A to Z is presented. We will try using Science Direct Freedom Collection database to gather more information regarding our topic. Science Direct has some features in helping us in finding our sources such as keyword, author name, journal or book title, volume, issue, and page. Moreover, it provides lots of articles about scientific, technical, medical, and many more researches that have been grouped based on the category that makes it super easy to use. shows popular and recent publication articles for each of the category for users as their references. And most importantly, once you register, you may be able to track your reading history. Then in the third step, you search, locate, and access materials from the online database. You can use some searching techniques such as basic and advanced techniques. And in the first step of the basic techniques, is refining the keywords. Keywords can be in a singular or plural form. The example is employee and employees. Go to Science Direct, type in keyword employee and satisfaction for example. You can also do it with variation of words or using alternative spelling and alternative terms. There will be different amount of results shows. Another strategy is visual. We make a diagram about keywords try to put in words that have a connection to our keyword or factors. For example, factors affecting satisfaction could be workload, or salary, or maybe working hours. You can try putting each of it in the keyword search. And last but not least, in the basic searching technique is listing. Listing is another way of searching technique that is not much different to visual, only it is just in the form of a list. And now we move on to the advanced searching techniques. Some other way is by using Boolean operators as the technique. In Boolean operators, we put the word and, or, not in between our keywords in keyword search column. Using and is to limit the results to documents that include both keywords. And now we're going to test the and operators and using promotion and reward as the keywords. And as you can see, the shown up articles are the articles who have both keywords, which are promotion and reward. And that's why we got 25,000 around articles. The articles can be clicked, and there we can see the abstract of the articles. However, 
Science Direct Freedom Collection allows the users to download the articles in PDF form to enable the reader to read the full version of the articles. Moreover, users can also share this article through email, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and also Reddit. What's even greater is that it helps the researchers to refine the articles by years, article types, application title, and also access type. Or is to spend results to find documents with either or both keywords. And again, we're going to test the OR operator using the same keywords. And now we got much more results compared to the one that we did before using the AND operator. And the last operator in this technique is NOT operator. It works to limit or reduce the result. The other searching techniques under advanced searching techniques is phrase searching. It is to search for a particular phrase, theory, or framework. For example, we can type in job satisfaction, and we're going to type it with a quotation mark. And the result that we're going to have will be lesser and more specified, and only articles with job satisfaction as one phrase will show up. And now we'll try without the quotation mark and you can straight away see the difference. Another technique is using truncation, or a star mark. Using this can include some variant endings of the root word. For example, employee. Result can show articles that contains employee, employer, employment, employed, extra or we can also use wildcards this includes variant of word or alternative spelling almost the same like referring to our keywords and now we're going to give it a try with organization the result will be articles both alternative spelling. An example of organization as an organization with web. The last one would be nesting. Nesting is using more than one boolean operators or searching techniques in the same keyword statement while searching. And we're going to try it by combining phrase searching techniques and boolean operators together. And now we got the articles which even more focused on the keywords that we typed before. And now if we utilize the features that Science Direct provides which is to filter the articles by years, we can even get lesser articles or results and the more focused results. And there are many more features that can help you with your research depends on your need. That's all from our group and we hope that you guys can find this video useful. Thank you for watching.